Hi Aries, this is your first of the month reading um, from June the 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a good start of their month. Um, if this resonates with you, please uh, like, subscribe, share, comment. That would be super, super helpful. This doesn't check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. Um, if it doesn't resonate at all, then um, just try to make an intention for next week to uh, for me to connect and I'll try and connect your energy. Or not next week, sorry, um, at the second half of the month. All right, so first off, interesting. Um, first off, we have the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is kind of all about, um, things are coming in for you. Um, you might not see it now, but things are on its way. Whatever it is kind of here, whether that's be work relationship, I can call some extra cards to see, but our main focus is that things are moving towards us. Opportunity, um, things are ready for us. But the other thing is you have to be kind of willing and open as well. Because it's weird, Aries, because there is this little bit of sadness here. There is this, just this bit of sadness that's going along with it. It's funny because things are kind of coming towards you here, but we can't maybe see it yet. I kind of see that we kind of are focused on the things that aren't kind of working on our life. Especially with the five of cups here, you see the person that is looking down at the three cups that fall and not the two cups they have in the back. Focusing a lot on the negative here, not, not focusing, um, we're focused on what we don't have. We're focusing on our sadness here. We're focusing on the depression. We're not focusing kind of um, what I'm feeling on is the what if, what else can kind of come towards me? What else does life have to kind of offer here? Because again, things are on the way for you. So just maybe um, start feeling that. These two weeks, I think you're gonna feel a little bit of mental clarity now. Ace of Swords is all about that aha moment, all about things kind of um, logically seeming clear again. So maybe this also has to do with the sadness. Maybe you were having some mental health issues um, that might be resolving this week, um, or in general, just you're feeling, you're thinking a lot clearer. Um, your head's kind of more logical there. You kind of are ready to, um, I don't know, maybe even combat like new ideas that come to your brain as well. Um, let's see what else we have. For Aries this week. So what is this kind of coming towards Aries? What is this coming towards Aries? What is this coming towards Aries? Okay, happiness is on the way for you. So whatever this is, especially if we're in a time right now where we're feeling a bit sad, where our sadness is kind of taking over us, there is happiness coming towards you and it's on the way. So don't feel like you will be in this feeling forever. Don't feel um, like there's no kind of hope. There's no kind of way out. I see you kind of mentally having this kind of um, clear focus coming in here towards your happiness. Kind of you'll see what you have to do to kind of uh, push forward in that sense. Um, things will be a lot clearer on what you have to do for your, not only your own um, self-worth, for your own well-being, um, but in general, just kind of um, how to kind of get out of this funk that you're kind of going through right now. Um, you have the Ace of Wands here, which is about a creative new beginning. So maybe you'll be starting a new project. Um, maybe you have a new idea for a project. Maybe you're kind of a new passion. Maybe you're going to change course a little bit here and you're thinking of a different way. Starting fresh, especially with the Ace of um, Swords and the Ace of Wands. It's funny because Capricorn um, also had this energy as well with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. So maybe you have some Capricorn in your chart as well. Um, but it's just kind of all about this fresh start, this new idea, this aha moment something fresh, something to get our creative juices going. Cause it looks like we are in this queen of pentacles energy um, areas where we are um, kind of trying to build our coin, trying to build our foundation here, um, what that foundation looks like for us. But I think you have to also remember here as well, um, that it's not, just not what I kind of said about Capricorn as well. It's not just all about your coin, right? It's not all about just the value in life. We want to make sure that our happiness is there as well. We want to make sure that we are feeling good, feeling excited about life, feeling like opportunities on our way there, feeling that we are abundant, that we are, we do have a lot going for us, that we value ourselves um, enough here. And I think from this value of ourselves, from this feeling ourselves, um, this new idea or this kind of new job will come into play here for you. Um, 
um, whatever it is, it should, might happen fast. You might be getting communication from this uh, for the with the eight of um, wands here. You might be getting some fast communication from someone. Um, maybe someone's coming in to offer you the job. I kind of want to see what this fast communication is. I think it's going to be someone from your social circle. Um, seems with the three of uh, cups here could be in some kind of social situation or setting. You might get this new idea. Maybe someone will approach you with kind of this new job. Uh, um, and maybe a friend will kind of come forward or just generally maybe a co-worker or something like that. I don't know, it's just some kind of social setting here, um, Aries, that is going to kind of um, propel you or, or push you forward. Um, maybe you're finding you just need to be a bit more social. You need to kind of get out more. I know um, the pandemic is still here, but we kind of got to reconnect a little bit. We got to make sure we are enjoying our life, um, that it's not just all about kind of um, things that didn't work out here it's not all about maybe working so much but in the sense of being like um enjoying our life and seeing what it has to offer again i don't know i feel like this month is going to be pretty social for you in june which is not a bad thing at all um aries and i think kind of what that social new ideas might spark from um these social aspects that makes sense somehow like it will almost like ignite a little spark in you from these social encounters all right for aries for aries please knight of cups um reversed some kind of emotional offering out here so let me see what is this knight of cups reversed for aries what is this knight of cups for aries Can I have this Knight of Cups for Aries, please? And the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. I'm just going to pull another card because we have one Knight of Cups here. Maybe a water sign. Um, Scorpio, um, Pisces, or cancer here that is maybe not coming forward with a relationship or um, emotional offer here but there is this nine of pentacles here for something more stable um again this stable offer here could be a relationship could also be work related um this night kind of brings maybe this opportunity forward to you um it's interesting though it's kind of backed by the knight of cups so maybe there's something that's not emotionally fulfilling anymore or someone kind of brings you an offer and you're not really here for it because it just doesn't feel like it would be a, a, um um emotionally fulfilling but then this kind of knight of pentacles comes around with something a little bit more stable so let me just see what's this kind of knight of pentacles what's this stability what's this knight of pentacles what is this stability oh king of pentacles maybe there is this um a lot of pentacles happening right now. So I feel like there might be a lot of work stuff in this first couple um, weeks of June, but especially followed by the King of Pentacles, I feel like someone's, this, what this offer is kind of, kind of do for you is kind of going to either grow into something um, bigger here with the King of Pentacles, meaning that it will grow you into this space where you're feeling really abundant, um, where you're feeling in a financially secure um, place. Uh, maybe it's more money, something like that. It just seems like you're kind of be, once this kind of offer comes in, you'll be on the top of the world there. Um, also, if it's not that, it might be this earth sign around here. Um, there's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, if you're looking for a relationship, it might be one of those signs to bring you something a little bit stable here. Um, whether it is a relationship, whether it is job, because the King of Pentacles is someone that is just um, abundant, um, stable, um, really kind of has a good grasp on their finances here, really is really abundant in that sense. And there's the trusting card after it. So I feel like whoever this king is here, um, whoever this knight of pentacles is, because I feel like they're kind of tied together here. I just feel like one is, again, one stage where the knight is just the beginning and the king is kind of the end goal. Whoever this kind of person is here that's bringing in a stable offer, you feel like you can trust them. Um, there's this trust level to them, which you have immediately feel right away. You trust this person kind of um, with your finances, or you trust this person um, making those kind of decisions for you. Um, I don't know, yeah, you're feeling a little bit more, you, you trust, you trust that this will actually work out the way you want it to. Um, trust that it will kind of lead you in the right direction here. Instant trust, I think, um, 
when it feels right, it's it's always a good thing. There is a breakup of a partnership here. So you might... Interesting, Aries. There is this ending of a relationship here, but I almost feel like that might be what the Knight of Cups energy is. Something that's emotionally fulfilling for you anymore. And whoever the stable person might be coming kind of in to take the place. Uh, maybe it's someone that you kind of trust, again, like I'm saying, you trust a little bit more. Um, trusting kind of all of the process here because it looks like you have this four cups energy here which means we're not seeing what the universe is offering to us so maybe we're just so focused on these cups here we're not seeing the other um offers that the universe has maybe we're so focused kind of on this breakup here or on this relationship that didn't work we're not seeing the other um things that are available to us the universe is trying to gift to us I don't know, I get a really good sense from this King of Pentacles here, um, from this kind of earth energy uh, for you, Aries. So maybe just trust that. Yeah, there's just a little bit of fear about having a fresh start here. I think we've kind of got a little bit comfortable. We've got a little bit complacent kind of where we are in the first couple of weeks um, of this energy and we're not ready for this kind of fresh start to happen. But I think this fresh start is something we kind of need. I think we're lingering a bit too much on these cups here, on this kind of negative emotion um, that we're not kind of seeing what life can bring and what kind of new opportunities can come into our life. It's feeling like a little bit of stuck energy here, but I, I think that especially in the beginning of June, that's when it's all going to change here. That's when kind of that aha moment happens where we see that um, starting to put our happiness as a priority, start to do, um, do things in our life, socialize again, you know, feel back on top of the world um, and really go after the things, the things we want. Because we're scared. We're scared of having something new here. We're scared of this fresh start, of this full um, energy reversed. Which, fresh starts are nothing to be scared of. You know, you should be having the enthusiasm. You should be like, you know, what else can this um, I do in this world? What, you know, like my all the doors are kind of open to me here. Um, that wonder of life again. We do have the Tempest card, so there could be a Sagittarius um, in your energy as well. If not, it might just mean we're just balancing ourselves out. We're getting ourselves back into the place um, of balance, of stability. Because again, what I was talking about with the sadness that's taking over here, we're trying to fill our own cup here. We're trying to make our own happiness, get ourselves stable again, get us, ourselves back to a healthy place, um, energetic wise. So it's great to see. We have the Knight of Wands uh, reverse, kind of passion dying out. Let's see, what's this Knight of Wands reverse? Again, maybe that Sagittarius energy. Maybe you had a thing Aries with a Sag. Um, it seemed like it was really passionate at first and then it died out pretty quickly. Um, so that could be the case as well. Let me just see. Could just be a relationship that your passion, um, that the passion is kind of dying out from. We have it followed by the Queen of Wands. I just have this energy here that it just feels that someone is not kind of making the cut here um something that was maybe really great and passionate at first is kind of not really working for you anymore um not really um taking those boxes anymore for you it feels like you want to kind of get to this queen of one energy where we're feeling creative where we're feeling passionate about life um so we might be looking at the things that aren't kind of bringing that um, into our energy anymore. The Queen of Wands is kind of all about that creative energy, feeling um, feeling that talent, feeling um, creative that way, feeling like you have a lot to offer, passionate, drive about the future. And it feels like whatever this Knight of Wands here is reversed, it was kind of feel like whatever that situation was, the passion kind of died out a little bit um, here. Whatever kind of um, what we're feeling at the beginning is kind of lackluster now. Um, Sometimes it's fuckboy energy as well, but it just kind of means a connection that was seemed, um, you know, really passionate, but now it's kind of hit a standstill. What else do we have for Aries this week? Or for these two weeks? Yeah, I get this energy of moving away from something. I get this energy of making a decision for sure. We're kind of um, 
really looking at this week what is making ourselves happy um really focusing on ourselves for the next two weeks um you know bringing that wish fulfillment forward to ourselves um getting to a place where we have this um wish fulfillment with this emotional um stability here because right now it just kind of um seems again that all this is kind of on the way for you, but you just gotta kind of accept where you are on the journey and realize that nothing is really gonna change unless you kind of change it here yourself and unless you're like fully kind of commit to this new beginning here, right? And instead of fearing it, just fully kind of committing to this fresh start, um, this new beginning in your life here. Because whatever these cups that are falling, whatever these cups you're looking at here, whatever emotional emotionality that is, you gotta kind of just stop looking at it look away from it because you're looking at these cups you're looking at these cups and the universe is telling you look away because there's so much more on the horizon there's so much um more out there for you um you just kind of got to be open to it here to like feel yourself again right just like this inner conflict, right? This conflict that's going on, this drama, this anxiety, it's happening right now. It's coming to an end and we want it to kind of end here. We're over it. I feel like you kind of want to be at a place, not complacency, but just more at peace is what I'm kind of getting with this Aries. You're kind of done with the conflicts. You're done with the fighting. You're done with, you know, maybe things not kind of going your way or feeling that constant kind of internal struggle here. You just, uh, I get a lot of releasing vibes from this as well for these two weeks, Aries. Um, so again, I feel like you're gonna maybe have this kind of clarity on what you kind of gotta get rid of in your life. Also maybe some fresh new ideas, maybe a new project you wanna start, maybe go back to school, whatever it is here, you're gonna feel something that's a little bit more fresh because I feel like you're kind of getting yourself out of this rut right now. Um, and you're kind of focused so much on maybe what this last chapter was, on the stuff that didn't work out for you, um, that you're kind of, it's, it's keeping you stuck in the past and keeping you stuck kind of in the old here, in that old energy. Definitely gearing up for something new, for something fresh. It's a good card to get. Awesome. For Aries, please, for June 1st. <laughs> please or just thank you okay so you got your star seed oracle you got trust the timing trust the wave uh you come in on time is not running out so often for those who feel like they're here for a reason and sense that time is running out they spend their life worrying that they may might miss their moment but the only way to miss your life or moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it it's never too late to answer a calling. You're never too old. The tides of your life are magnetically um, orchestrated to come in and out of perfect unison. Don't race ahead or ride a wave that was never meant for you. You'll waste your precious time and energy um, when instead you could be enjoying your life. Everything has a season. You're being called to trust uh, the one you're in. Do not let impatience, comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. Seems that everyone has anxiety these days and constantly scanning for something they might have missed or possible threats. Keeping our mind and body pointed in the same direction as our soul is near impossible with such reactive speeds. Right now, you're being reminded to take a breath and trust the wave that you came in on, to trust your season you're in. Time is not running out. There is plenty of time and there's no rush. It's never too late. And I think that's what we're talking about here is we're talking about this kind of, um, lack of kind of like push forward in the sense of being like you don't you know you can make your life whatever you want it to be you can kind of be that alchemist you can be that um find things that make you happy here like it's not over for you things are on the way towards you so just trust that areas you also got the anxiety card which this also last card talked about anxiety too so you might be feeling that kind of heavy um i get i get anxious about this kind of new start here anxious about what life is going to look like but sometimes you just gotta go in and kind of trust yourself here you also got strategy which i think is a really important card um for us to speak as well, and I'll read it for the Energetical Oracle. Making a plan. This card shows a pen, a journal, a compass, and a key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is an optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy to achieving your goals. 
write the direction you want to go in and consider any um, potential change in course that may be needed. Be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goal a reality. This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control and thought to action and set your sights on the road ahead. All right, so it seems like you might be what this probably here, this plan, this strategy is going to be this aha moment that you're kind of getting in these next two weeks. All right, Aries, that was your uh, bi-weekly bi -weekly reading. I hope this helps.